sadly, I don't know if you can hear that, but I think my idea of a relaxing, quiet and calm Christmas at home, that ship has kind of sailed because they started with a whole building renovation project next door. <gasps> the amount of noise. Like, I have all of the windows closed. It's the noise. I'm dying. <laughs> and literally anyone that knows me knows I love my peace and quiet. So this is really, like, disturbing my peace. I like to get ready in the quiet. I like to listen to the wind, the birds. I get fresh air in here. Luckily, the power just came back on because you're no aircon inside and all of the windows closed to just cancel out as much noise possible ah it's really stealing my joy but i'm trying to like just not listen to it and counteract the noise with maybe more noise <laughs> and i wanted to blow dry my hair with you i'm gonna try the Kerastase Nutritive Beautifying Detangling Blow Dry Mist. I got the whole range recently and when I get a new um, range within Kerastase, I like to try like shampoo and conditioner, then I'll try like the blow dry mist for the second wash just to like see how my hair does with each and every product within the range and then I will kind of marry them together. So this is just like a detangling mist. I should have put this on before I started brushing. So I just start by brushing from the bottom up. That feels really nice and smooth. And then I'll just clip the one side away. And I'll take the normal blow dry attachment. Just so that it's a little bit like Dryer, like slightly drier, like as you do. And then I take the blow dry attachment. What is this called? The round brush attachment. Just to add a little bit of volume and sleek it out. And then to get this bounciness i take the air wrap and i this one the new one you don't need two barrels you just have like the interchangeable so i have this side going this way and the side going that way so i'm just going to show you the last little piece Oops, wrong way and it literally catches it yourself you can itself you can literally just hold it and it will do the work for you. <laughs> and then... Now, if I'm in a rush, I will do the cool shot. If not, if I have some time, I will just leave them to marinate a little bit. And I'm going to take this off and put the just normal blow dry attachment back on. And then I will do the side. If you got the time, I'd like to stay a while. Do you remember what I said last time we met? Would you like to? literally just as I'm gonna do my makeup I just have like two little space buns and I let these curls just kind of sit in the little twisty 
fun situation. Sometimes I even put my thin power bank in 
filter and maybe even like a little hand cream and like a mini fragrance but yeah i'm just so precious about this bag um and it's almost like an excuse to have little bags because you can pass them on to your children and your grandchildren and like start their collection young, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you told little Jess that she would have multiple Louis Vuitton pieces in her collection and that she would be getting invited to a Louis Vuitton event, she would scream. Like she would absolutely scream. So I'm going to finish my look off. And then we can head to Stanton for a holiday with Louis Vuitton. amazing mushroom pasta last night so i wanted to do a little bit of mushroom for breakfast as well so yeah that's what we have in the house i wanted to finish up the ingredients in the house before buying more groceries i had a couple of eggs left so i did um, some scrambled eggs um i'm also making for our helper so she's gonna have the same thing and then i also Want to finish up the sun dried tomato south african feta and basil pesto woolies used to have like lids on these but they don't anymore so it's hard to like you know close it but anyways let me not burn my food <laughs> i need new pots for christmas like pans i need to like find new ones because i don't like these we've had these pans since i think since the apartment like these are our first set of pots or pans <laughs> so yeah, i'm just doing a little bit of mushrooms in truffle oil i'm out on a last minute spree hoping to find that something that makes you see that i I told you that the bow was going to become my festive personality in a sense and I think red nails and a little bit of a sprinkle 
of glitter. I used this um, Stila Kitten Karma glitter. It's a liquid eyeshadow. Looks like a lip gloss wand, but it's an eyeshadow, and I actually also used it on my lips with the Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss in the shade Pink Kissimo, shade 210. And I love it. Oh my gosh. And I also used a little bit of my eyebrow pencil to just line it and then I blend it just to make it look natural. I find that using a brown, like your eyebrow pencil for your lip liner, just, it stays on long. It's quite like dry and chalk, not chalky, but it's, it's not creamy, so it doesn't fade as quick. And that just works for me. I obviously have my lips blush tattooed, so, they are a, more, a bit more pigment, pigmented than most people's lips. But this combo today is just giving me all of the festive feels. And I have a campaign to shoot with Revlon that I'm going to do in a little bit. But first, I got booked for Black Friday 2.0 with One Day Only. Um, that basically only lasts for today. So I need to quickly film content, edit, and like send it off to the brand for approval and then post it like straight away. So let's go do that. I need to find an outfit to shoot in and then I'll show you like Nothing catches my eye. What do you get for some? To every corner of this godforsaken mall, what in the world would be that something that made you see that I love you? All I've got to give for Christmas is. I just put my Xiaomi vacuum to work. She quickly cleaned up the place because I made such a mess with this video. Like glitter everywhere. You know, I've never worked so fast in my entire life with this campaign. Like I literally got the confirmation this morning and I had to like shuffle my things around and I was like, okay, let me just like quickly think of an idea. And I, want, I got one package from one day only. One of my orders arrived and I was like, okay, I'm gonna like unbox it and just like wrap it in this video and have it a bit more festive because it is December now. So it's like Black Friday's past, but it's like Black Friday 2.0. So it's like a second chance for Black Friday, but we're in the festive season. So I had to kind of mesh the two together. And I made such a mess with all of the glitter, but this vacuum is just like, she is the bestie in the house, honestly. And so many of you these commented soft life, and I agree. It's like the other day our friends and family came over and there was like crumbs everywhere and like just a mess. And you know what? We wiped the counters and we went to bed and I put her to work and it was like a breeze waking up just with a fresh, clean, shiny floor. But yeah, the Louis Vuitton event last night was so good, these and I have something here nothing major like the smallest little thing but something i'm so i'm so sorry for the noise the vacuum cleans itself um completely all you have to do is like literally empty um out the dirty water and clean put clean water inside yeah so thank you i will do so bestie thank you Thank you, bestie. Clean water, dirty water, and that's literally all you have to do. She cleans herself. It's a breeze. Okay, let me show you what I got from Louis Vuitton. Look at this packaging. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. This is my 
third holiday packaging from Louis Vuitton. So each December, like each festive season, they do like something different. So when I got my Nano Speedy, they did like a pink and blue colorful festive packaging. And then last year they did, um, I think I got a pair of shoes. They did the Nelson Mandela in the gold, like little blocks, but it looks like Nelson Mandela on the outside, like iconic packaging. And then this year, I think this one has to be my favorite because it's just so Christmassy. I even loved the little box and bag illustration on the illustration that we got like the real-time drawing how cute this is by Hanley and she's incredibly talented she drew like my whole outfit I just did one for myself because Brain was like just do one for you so we got that how pretty and for my purchase I wasn't planning on getting anything but when I saw this I was just like this is perfect because with all of our travels I've tried to purchase decorative and like coffee table books from places and then on the inside i write the year we went there um and like the destination so when i saw this i just thought that it was such a cute like little collector's memoir if that makes sense so not expensive at all expensive for a book but i think these are like around a thousand rand and I got one, of course, for Paris. I didn't need one for Paris because I already have one for Paris. And I actually want to go back and get one for Thailand. I want to get one for Turkey. I know I have, I bought the actual big Louis Vuitton when we were in Turkey. And it just looks so nice here in the kitchen. And I just thought that they would look so nice, like stacked on top of each other, next to each other, because each city is a different color. And we've been to a few places, obviously Paris, I had to get Paris. You know, Paris has my heart. I have so many books from Paris, but I just, I had to have one from Paris. And then I, of course, got Amsterdam because it's one of the only books that I couldn't find on our honeymoon. On our honeymoon. And in the front, I write like honeymoon 2023 Amsterdam, honeymoon 2023 Paris, Paris, Marseille. In the Louis Vuitton one, I wrote Turkey. I think it was 2020 or 2021. And then we went to Thailand in 2019, but I don't have a book from Thailand. I think I should have actually gotten one for like Phuket. And then Brain also went to India. Not sure exactly where um, in India, but we also went to Dubai. So I feel like I need to get a few more and just like have a bit of a collection. I really hope that Louis Vuitton doesn't discontinue them because it's actually so nice apart from just having like a little memoir from Louis Vuitton and like a little a little piece of luxury in your home because for me like luxury comes in like the smallest things it can be in a book it can be in a handbag shoes like luxury can come from like the smallest little places even just a fragrance or lighting a candle to me luxury is like how the thing makes you feel so apart from just being like really pretty and like a really cute idea, like all of the different colors, it's an actual city guide. So I'm definitely going to get one for our next travels, wherever we go. And it's like a guide, like everything you need to know. And it has like little stickers that you can stick onto the things that you want to do. So in here, apart from having like really cute little pictures, I mean, we actually saw these places. It has everything you need to know, like essentials around um, the city, the hotels, restaurants, nightlife, bars, the sense of style, the interior, the art, the culture, obviously Louis Vuitton, and then just a few like pictures. So having a book and then visiting the country and like using it as a guide, I think that's just such a cute idea. And a, a nice little memoir from Louis Vuitton. And then we also got a little memoir from the event look how cute in in an envelope that looks like the invitation when we arrived they took a little polaroid of us and they've put it in this really beautiful card okay where shall i put these books <laughs> oh, christmas kiss close your eyes and park your because he Something you won't be soon forgetting. 
and like outfits in the morning um, like in the beginning of the movie and then it's all about like the kids not being like into Christmas and like everyone has like their own problems no? and then the parents switch with the children and the baby switches with the dog <laughs> It was so funny and then you know how these movies go it's like they have to resolve the conflict and like the issues between one another and come to like you know a common ground a common peace and understanding of each other's problems and each other's lives because you know we all have stuff going on no matter how big or small no matter how old you are we all have something going on and if we have some co compassion for one another yeah so then they switched back at the end um like they always do in these kind of movies but it was fun like we kind of kicked off the christmas movie marathons so we watched that and this morning we got a little um festive drink a butterscotch latte i got one for me and one for my friend because we're gonna go to cps warehouse it's where i got my tree it's literally like Christmas, a Christmas dream. So I thought I would bring these along and we can arouse a little bit. Is he excited? <laughs> Aren't you excited? So excited. For Christmas shopping! <laughs>
town Window shopping Listening to the sound From some street crier Caroling through the air And the smell of the big Christmas tree In the square Here comes the Christmas spirit again Yesterday popped into at home after church. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. A few very exciting things, but something not so exciting. A new frying pan that's also non-stick. This is just from at home. It was on special from $8.99 So, and these pans tend to be so expensive. I got one from Woolies. But sadly... I put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> so I thought the inside stayed nicely. This one has like a stainless steel outside. So I thought I could maybe put this one in the dishwasher. Dishwasher safe. Ah, music to my ears. So yeah, sadly, this one has served us well, but it doesn't look that pretty. I always try and hide it in the videos. I don't even know if you've noticed, but yeah, the beautiful coating on the side came off. <laughs> I also mentioned that I'm on the hunt for new pots. I still am because I really don't love ours. We got them from Macro many years ago when we moved into our apartment i don't know if some of you ladies even remember that but yeah we need new pots excited that we have a new pan this frying pan i also don't love it's part of this like whole set so yeah now we have a new frying and non-stick pan in one as well as some very beautiful new additions to my christmas collection <laughs> i want it more lights i have the warm white kind of yellowish lights on the tree i think i have four strings of five meter i think and then they're usb so they're plugged into this little socket thingy and then i just plug that into a power bank like a big size power bank and it literally stays for like a couple of days i don't have it on during the day most of the time and now it's currently charging but it's so nice because if we have no shedding then the tree can still be on so yeah these ones are not usb it's plugged in but they're red and i saw a photo of a tree with red and warm white golden kind of look 
light and it looked so nice and i'm so into red this christmas i don't know why i mean the nails to start with but not this shocking kind of summery red more like a a deeper velvety luxurious red and i think what i want to do is reposition the bobbles and create a little bit of a designer effect i wanted the bigger ones to create that depth and that dimension because i feel like all of the bobbles are the same size and that's how you achieve that designer effect is if you have bigger ones smaller ones even then like clustering them together like one big one smaller one a small one and just creating a bit more of like a luxurious effect so i want to do that with the lights i want to see what it looks like and then i've got more bubbles to just see how i can do that but i still want to add some ribbon i want like a deep red almost like this red how cute is this it matches this plate i got in a previous vlog this i got from lifestyle this was at cps warehouse cps warehouse is in four ways it's at deco park it's inside deco park i think this was more expensive than i saw it at cps warehouse i think this is actually where they get it from maybe um because i paid more for this at lifestyle than i did at cps warehouse for this I think this was like 180 and I think that plate was like over 300 so yeah very very affordable and I love like the red this is the red I was talking about and then I also got how fun is this <laughs> this is for outside how cute it's like a little solar light so I don't know what it looks like when it's lit up but I'm assuming it'll either be just white or maybe red these ones I also got like little smaller ones. They are colorful, so they change color, like a little um, candy moment. And I think it'll be fine outside. We do live in an estate. I'm excited to go put these outside. And then I've never been into snow globes. I've never liked them. I remember when we lived in the apartment, I did like a fake snow tree and I wore like... Um, you know sweaters but we are in a summer christmas <laughs> that was obviously a, a couple of years ago um and i feel like it's because we always see videos of like snow is falling like eggnog and hot cocoa but here we have december we spend our time by the pool we drink cold drinks we make cocktails like we have like a summer christmas so i've really just grown to love and embrace our christmas as south africans so i'm not really into like anything like flocked or snow anymore i like the green tree with the berries like very us you know so a snow globe is not very us but this one okay the snow is Kind of settled you can see it just has a white tree a white little porcelain car with a tree on the back and then this wooden little leg situation is what sold me this was from at home 2.99 it really wasn't that bad of a price and it's pretty like i feel like it kind of blends in with the style and i want to create almost like a little village i haven't found my village houses yet but yeah, I also love this. Also quite snowy, you know. But I do have a white candle and I like I like creating like little moments and little corners. So I think what I want to do here is I want to do like village houses, white village houses with this candle and just like that kind of vibe. And then this star. You can either have it this way, it has little beads on the front, also from at home. This was also from at home. I, did, I think this was like 180 and then this was 350 They had different sizes or you can do the wood at the front. And I just loved this. I love just accessorizing and decorating with little pieces of wood. It just brings a little bit of warmth in the house. And then I also like marble. I have a marble star from last year was it the year before i can't remember now i think it was the year before and this year i saw this one and i got a really good price on it it was 500 
marked down to 250 so I don't know what the deal was but they had quite a few things on sale at, at home it's literally just a marble it's quite heavy like a marble looking tree and that's what I like I've, I've said this before in previous December's when I decorate for Christmas I like to decorate my house in a way that kind of blends in with the style of my house all year round so this is something that blends quite easily but I do feel a little bit more Christmassy this year in terms of doing a little bit more red and my collection is growing so obviously last year and the year before when we moved in we didn't have a lot of things so my collection is growing and I'm really excited about it I also got these wobbles I don't think they're glass I wonder I thought that they were oh they are I was hoping they were because you can't really open them in store but these ones are so pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes just redesigning the tree. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time, but I just haven't found one that I like. Most of them you get in like this little mushroom design. But this one is just so stunning. It is a little bit pricey. I think it was $8.99, but it's so stunning. It has this really luxurious detailing on it, and it's um, rechargeable, so you can just plug a USB thingy, USB-C thing in there, and you can charge it. I don't know what the exact color is, but most of these you just tap like this, and then you change the dimness or the color, like warm white, cool white, and this one is an actual like um, kind of metal look and finish, whereas the other ones just have a metal gold and silver look sprayed. It looks like a little mushroom. Brain didn't really love that one. I don't mind it, but Brain liked this one. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. We had one of these on the table when we were having dinner with John and Karishma, and it just gave the most beautiful ambiance. And I like that it's not wired because a lot of the times the wires take away from the aesthetic of, you know, the look and feel it creates. So I'm really excited. This is what it looks like at the bottom. And I'm excited to put her somewhere. I don't know exactly where yet, but I'm going to get going with the tree first. to just like do them all in one go i thought i would just do them um just before i went to gym because there's like a pep halfway and the lady that helped me was just such a superstar we just we worked so well as a team i always try and help them because it's quite a tedious delivering process but most of you ladies actually <laughs> prefer it so if I can help you just to save a little bit of money um I don't mind at all I write like all of the details on the bag just to make everything um a lot quicker I write the name the cell phone number and also the pip it's going to and also if it gets lost um it can easily just be like seen on the bag but yeah I did that um it's been one of those days where i just did like little things throughout the day and i was kind of just hovering around i was filming a video um with Ravelon, kind of like a day in my life um but it was also not a very like filmy day because i've scheduled my filming on another day um 
and today i was like okay i'm just gonna film the ravelon and it also shows like each day isn't the same like no day is the same for me my days just look so different every single day so one day i can be filming multiple videos a day and then another day i have a lot of admin and then another day i have like events or i'm on the road the whole day so yeah i just wanted to show this part of my day whether i'm going out and about or whether i'm just staying at home i like to just put myself together so yeah i used the um revlon color stay foundation and the um the lipstick oh my goodness look how well this lipstick has lasted oh there's my friend hello <laughs> then we go inside um i'm gonna continue filming my video in the gym because i'm gonna kind of put the foundation to the taste drive alone in December rain that play my favorite song I see a snowflake melt on the day I'm awful cold and longing for the holiday counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night 